I was sitting at home in July 1969. Having just turned 19, I was feeling fine. My eyes were glued to a black and white TV. Beaming down from space was a real sight to see. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, Apollo 11. When they set foot on the moon, I was in heaven. It wouldn't be too long, or so I thought, until I too could be an astronaut. But the decades went past with no innovation. Despite this, I lost none of my motivation. I've always been a dreamer, and optimism pays. So I registered the name, Virgin Galactic Airways. We worked to build our space line for 17 years. There were days filled with joy, and there were moments for tears. Finally, the team flew all the way to space, and I watched from the flight line, pride etched on my face. More tests were needed for commercial flights to begin. Mission specialists were assembled, and I was in. Beth, Colin, and Sarisha would join me on the flight. Unity 22, our journey was in sight. After completing our training in New Mexico from Spaceport America, we were ready to go. We kissed our loved ones farewell, then I climbed into my seat for the trip of a lifetime, an awe-inspiring feat. Mothership Eve carried us to a great height, then the spaceship dropped and the rocket was alight. We flew straight up, faster than the speed of sound, until the wonder of space was all around. Having dreamt about this moment for 50 years, we were weightless, floating. I couldn't believe we were here. Nothing prepared me for seeing Earth from above. It was magical. My heart was filled with love. I delivered a message to all the kids watching too. If we can do this, imagine what you can do. I was once a child with a dream, and now it's came true, thanks to our team back at the spaceport. I couldn't help but laugh. I was the first person to successfully test my own spacecraft. After hugging our families, we took to the stage. Welcome to the dawn of a new space age. Now I've been to space, astronaut 001. But for humankind in space, the adventure's just begun.